There's a video floating around out there of a teacher demonstrating how to multiply a problem out using an area model that somebody has compared to multiplying the same problem using a traditional algorithm. The point of the video seems to be the traditional algorithm is much more efficient than the area model. Let's look at them both today and see how they really compare and if they are really doing the same thing when you solve them. We'll start with traditional algorithm. When I multiply 35 by 12, 5 times 2 is 10, carry my 1, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. I know on my next row I need a placeholder 0, 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 1 is 3, so when I add those together, 0 and 0, 7 and 5 is 12, carry my 1, 3 and 1 is 4. So I pretty efficiently come out with 420. But when I set up my area model, I break that down into 30 and 5, 10 and 2. So now I multiply each combination. 3 times 10 gives me 300, 10 times 5 gives me 50, 30 times 2 gives me 60, 5 times 2 gives me 10. So now I add those values together. 300 plus 50 plus 60 plus 10. Well again, there's zeros. 5 and 6 and 11 plus 1 is 12. Carry my 1 and there's my 420. Well let's look at this for a second. 70, well 60 and 10, there's my 70. 350, 350, there's my 350. So really, I wound up adding the same numbers. Just here, they're in smaller pieces than they were over there. Do these smaller pieces actually exist in that traditional algorithm? Well, let's look at this one again more closely. We said this, 5 times 2 is 10. We'll line up my place values. So here's where 10 would go. 3, remember this 3 is really 30, because that's the 10's place. So when I say 3 times 2, we're really doing 30 times 2. So there's 60. So now we multiply 5 times 1. But again, remember that's in the 10's place. So that 1 is really 10. So we multiply these, we multiply 5 times 10. There's my 50. So when I multiply this 3 times 1, again, I'm really multiplying 30 by 10. There's my 300. So in my traditional algorithm, if I think about what those place values tell me, I come out with the exact same list of numbers solving the exact same combinations of problems that I did in the array. So when I total these up, we still come out with 420. When you use the traditional algorithm, what you're really doing is you're combining your place value and your addition steps into smaller groups and you're adding as you multiply so that at the end you only have one small addition problem to do. But really, this area model and this algorithm are multiplying the exact same values, adding the exact same sums, and coming out with the exact same products.